There are three types of Hallmark Christmas films. There are those that are exceptionally creative and innovative. There are those that are abysmal. Admittedly, those ones are few and far between. And then there are those that are kind of just middle of the road, nice relaxing film, won't change your life, but is a nice way to spend a couple of hours with a hot chocolate under a blanket. Christmas Joy is definitely one of those films. The reason I think it's one of those films is because I feel like not very much happens. There's not really much development in the narrative. We go, we don't so much go from A to Z as maybe A to L. It's not that fast paced, it's not that forward moving, but it's nice and festive. And our protagonist is very likable and there's nothing wrong with this film. It's just not the best thing in the world. So this was released in, originally in 2018 directed by Monica Mitchell and written by Jennifer Maisel. Our protagonist is called Joy and she is played by Danielle Panabaker and I think she's very likeable. I need a likeable protagonist and actor for a Christmas film because if they're not then I just find it hard to engage with them but I, I really liked her and I thought she was great. So I'll read the description out from IMDb and there is no spoilers in this. Joy Holbrook is a market researcher about to get a sweet promotion just in time for the holidays but she receives an urgent phone call from home and rushes back to help her aunt recover from surgery reuniting with her formal cr former crush Ben. So like a lot of Hallmark films the protagonist is a workaholic she spends a lot of time in the office and she's forgotten what it's like to relax at Christmas and she gets called away. Unlike a lot of Hallmark films, we don't get to see her old office life too frequently. We are reminded that it's there in the background occasionally, but it's not constantly butting into her present. And I feel like that's really nice because it allows us to get to know the character more when she's in a change of environment. We know what the workaholic aspect is like, but we get to see her letting her guard down and she's still taking on big challenges. She hasn't changed her personality. She hasn't you know, just flipped a switch and become somebody different. She's still very much the same person. But when she's doing a lot of baking and things, although she's trying to do 101 things at once, we can see her, we can see a different side of her. And I really like that. And I think the balance between kind of workaholic joy and relaxing joy slowly bends at such a, a really pleasing pace that it's as I said it's not just a flip of a switch we get to see that character development and I really like that. With the love interest Ben played by Matt Long I I really liked him. I thought he had a great attitude, he had a great personality, visually looked the part together on screen I thought they looked great, great chemistry, really liked Ben. Maybe one of my favourite Hallmark love interests, I'm not sure. A lot of them are very good, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed his performance and the character's role in this. There isn't anything about this film that I don't like. It's just the fact that there are the occasional moments where I have to remind myself that there is actually a slight narrative in this, in the sense that she's trying to do loads of baking and take on the duties that her aunt did before she um, had to have surgery. So. It's nice and it's lovely that she's helping family and it really does show the true meaning of Christmas, not in the biblical sense but in the family sense and maybe some people will learn to realise that. That's something I have a really big problem with. I have never been that much into Christmas which is one of the reasons why I've been watching a lot of Hallmark films to try and change that and I have to say it's working. It's helping me love Christmas more, but it's also making me want to eat a lot of Christmas cookies. For the first year in my life, I'm 28, I have plans to bake Christmas cookies on Christmas Eve. And they're going to turn out horrifically. But I'm getting into the spirit of things. Christmas Joy definitely helps to get into the Christmas mood. It's a nice film, a relaxing film. Kick back, relax, enjoy it. Don't worry about anything too much in this one. I think it's a nice one to spend a few hours in an evening with.